What's up, guys? This is uh, my dad and my brother's barn, which is kind of a disaster. Um, so anyway, it's where I keep the four-wheeler, so that's why I'm here. I just got it off the truck. Uh, just got it back from the guy that put the uh, stealth snorkel kit. It was actually a riser kit, but I'll get in that in a minute. Um, and he put on the clutch kit. I have not tried it out yet. I'm fixing to go on a ride, um, but I figured right before I do that, uh, you know, I'd show y'all kind of what he did. Um, if you notice, so I bought this clutch kit, or the, excuse me, I bought the, uh, the riser uh, stealth kit from Triangle ATV. Um, the guy there uh, let me know, I think his name's Ari, he, uh, that they do not sell them for the uh, 2018, really, I guess, what is it, the 17 through the 19s, the new models for the sportsmen's. Um, but they did do it for the older ones, the ones before that. And so what he was saying is, is even though, and the reason they don't do it is because he, he felt like there's a lot of cutting involved and different things that he, they didn't feel comfortable with selling or whatever. But he said that if I found somebody that knew what they were doing and they knew how to do it, that, uh, you know, that, you know, it can be done and it won't be that difficult for someone who knows what they're doing. And so that whatever. And he also said that they don't do refunds, which kind of scared me. Um, but anyway, so I got it. It was, uh, like a little over 300. If I, if I remember right, um, clutch kit was also, I think 320. Um, and anyway, so, uh, this is how it looks. Sorry, it's a little dark in here. It's lighter outside, but I don't want everyone to see my business. That's going down the street, as you can probably see if I zoom in, see. Anyway, all right, so if you can tell, this is where some of the pipe is, where the clutch housing and all that stuff is down here. You can see where he put the, uh, the tubing and all that stuff. He sealed all that stuff up. Um, he ran it through here. And it doesn't look the greatest, I mean, it's definitely visible, but I mean, we're also focusing on it. And you zoom out and you just look at the foil or you'd never, you wouldn't really, you know, think too much of it. And so he ran it all the way up to here. And so you can see it in there. He said he did have to trim just a tad right there, but very, but you can't even tell it really. I mean, I can't, and I, I'm a stickler for how the foiler looks. Otherwise I would have just got a snorkel kit coming out of the rack like, like, like everybody else. But, um, you know, if you just look at the four-wheeler, you can't really tell. Um, but it comes up here. So he told, he tells me that it's all sealed. We'll see. I'm going to test it out. But that it's, uh, I should be able to go all the way up to here. Um, basically the whole four-wheeler can be submerged up to the headlight pod, basically. Um, and should have no issues. So we'll see how that goes. As far as the clutch kit goes, I can tell you right now, just backing it off my truck and just driving it like literally down the street, I can feel it. Um, I think it's something that I'll feel, you know, better with in time. I did notice that, uh, hold on. But yeah, as far as the clutch kit goes, um, I, I haven't, like I said, I haven't driven the four-wheeler yet. Um, I just went down the, backed it off the truck, went down the street and back, and that's it. Um, I'll about to go test it out too, um, but you can notice it immediately. Uh, I can feel it the power, the quicker engagement of the clutch kit already. Um, and I went with QSC, Quad Shop, or Quad Shop Customs. Um, a lot of people recommended that on the Player Sportsman uh, Owners Group, um, Facebook. And if you are watching this video right now and you have a Polaris, go join that group. It's the Player Sportsman Owners Group. I'll try to link it down below. Um, I mean, any, it's better than any forums I've ever been a part of because people are on Facebook just in general. You ask a question, boom, it blasts it out to 30,000, 40,000, however many people are in it. Could be less, could be more. Um, and somebody's gonna get back to you with an answer, quick. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm about to go test this out. Uh, just for the record, I've got my GoPro Hero 7 Black that just came in the mail. Um, so I'm about to be able to start filming these rides. Uh, all I need now is to get a helmet and Again, guys, I really want to be able to film these rods and quick. I want to be able to buy whatever I need. I've already put in. I had to pay this mechanic over 600 bucks for all this because um, apparently it wasn't easy. I, I probably got ripped off. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Uh, cue everybody in there being like, you idiot, you could have done it yourself. But he basically told me that it was a pretty tough job and it's all he does. He's, a, he's, a, he's probably about 40 years old. He's real cool and down the earth. 
Having said that though, he could have bit me over. I really don't know, um, you know with the price. But, um, but I'm gonna go check this out real quick. Uh, it might rain here in a little while. So I'm gonna try to get some time in out here in these woods and test the snorkel, test this clutch, get out. And I'll report back to y'all soon. What's up guys? I just got done tr uh, testing it out in the woods. Um, took it for a ride. I, got, I had some good news and some bad news. Um, the bad news is, is I finally got stuck for the very first time almost six months in, five and a half months into having the four wheeler. Uh, but it was fun. I tried everything I could to get it out. Um, and it's possible maybe I could have. It's just it was really, really soft mud and some pretty deep water. Um, the good news is, is I freaking love the clutch kit. I wish I'd have got it the day I bought my four wheeler. Um, I know it would have avoided the warranty, but man, what a difference it makes. Um, it's not night and day, though I know I'm making it sound like that but it's so noticeable um just it doesn't matter if you you know when you, as soon as you hit it reverse as soon as you hit the throttle it, the amount of revs and rpms it takes to actually engage and move those tires is is very it feels very significant just out from the power delivery standpoint um like i said i went with qsc uh, quad shops customs um man i i love it i love it i love it i love it before if you'd be in high, um, I don't know about other A50 owners, but um, you can kind of feel, you know, especially if you have oversized tires, um, you know, it doesn't exactly, especially if you're going uphill or you're in kind of technical trails and you don't feel like being in low, it can kind of struggle a little bit to kind of get up and get going, which is not something I expected from the A50. Uh, Polaris, their highs have always seemed to be geared higher than most. I know on my Grizzly, when I had it, I had a 2011 Grizzly 700, um, that's one of the things I really enjoyed about that four-wheeler was when you were in high on that, I didn't have a clutch kit or anything on it, it was all stock, and I had uh, ITP XDRs, 27 inches, um, so it wasn't a major huge tire, huge difference from stock, but I mean it, it's noticeable weight, you know, it was a six-ply tire, but still stock or with bigger wheels and stuff, the Grizzly, the, the high on it, um, you could ride it uphill. You could ride it slower and still kind of get where you want to go and not have to use low if you didn't want, didn't, didn't want to or have to. But on the Polaris before and on other ones I've had, um, you know, you really need to be in low. Uh, you can get by with being in high here or there um, in situations where you should be in low, but you can feel it's not comfortable. You don't have that throttle response. It, it, it lags. The belt's kind of, you know, it's just best that you be in low. But now with this clutch kit, that opens up a whole, it's almost like my Grizzly. You know, I can go high, I can be in high range and, you know, get around quickly. The RPMs engage faster. Um, I really enjoy it. But anyway, now with this clutch kit uh, on my Sportsman, you know, being in high, you can be in high and go slow. You know, you can go up hills in high. You can do things that you probably could do before, but it was straining. And, you know, really you shouldn't do it. Uh, so I'm really, really, really a positive impressions from one quick ride. I was only out there maybe 40 minutes and about 10 of it I was stuck trying to, <laughs> uh, you know, wiggle my way out of that hole. But um, as far as the, and the other thing, the snorkel, um, so far so good. Uh, I got it pretty deep. I got it over the seat, um, which I don't normally do. I mean, I've done it before. It happens here, there. We're not talking consistently riding over the seat. We're just talking like in spots, you know, it'll you know, get over that level. Um, but but any, but before I got the snorkel kit, if you watch some of my older videos, I talk about where, you know, the housing, the clutch is, and where the intake is kind of below the seat on the back. And in my experience is riding uh, in the same spots. Um, you don't even have to go that deep at all. We're talking like just above the floorboards and it, like in between the floorboards and the seat, which isn't like super deep. But, but deep enough to where if water gets in there, your belt starts to slip really bad. You've got to drain everything or you have to sit there and let it dry out and stuff. Man, it, it sucks. Um, it doesn't seem to be a problem anymore. I, I went in a spot that I normally wouldn't go in, um, purposefully trying out that snorkel. Um, it's awesome, man. It, no problems whatsoever so far. Um, so anyway, really enjoying the clutch kit, really enjoying the snorkel, enjoying the power that I have that I didn't have before. And I had to pay for it, um, but you know, so far so good, and it seems worth it. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyway, so moving forward, um, like I said in the beginning of this video, even though this was sort of a before and after in the same video, 
Um, you know, I got my GoPro here, seven black, um, and now I just need to get, you know, a helmet and or, um, so as I said earlier in this video, moving forward, now I've got my uh, GoPro here, seven black, and you know, I guess I'm gonna get a helmet to have one and maybe have a cam mounted on it. I'm planning on buying it soon. If y'all have any suggestions, any links, anything I need to know when it comes to how I should, you know, mount this new GoPro, um, you know, also protective housing, so to speak, on the actual GoPro camera itself. Um, I'm assuming I'm gonna need that, or I don't know if it came with it or not. The one that came with it, I don't know if that would work or not, but um, I'm new to all that, okay? So any kind of information or uh, thoughts that y'all can give me on how to, I wanna have the best footage possible when it comes to my rides. You know, I, I really do. Um, so any feedback y'all can give me on that is much appreciated. So uh, anyway, this will probably be the last video I make uh, before y'all actually see this thing in action. So now I got all this stuff done. But as, I, as it stands today, I am happy with what I've got. I can't really think of anything else I wanna do to it. Now it's just about filming my rides and getting out there, especially with the woods that I ride in, most likely about to be you know, torn down. So. Um, also, real quick, I also heard things, I don't know if it's just an EPI thing or not, um, about the top speed being affected on the clutch kit. Um, not in my experience. I mean, maybe you might, maybe like one, one or two miles an hour on the very high end, but I just took it down this road and I'll show you once I get my, you know, GoPro and everything set up. Um, I mean, it, zero to 50, super fast, and was hitting 60 before I saw some cars coming, so no problems there. But anyway, thank you all for watching this video. I appreciate y'all coming by the channel. You know, subscribe, hit the bell, because the next video you see is gonna be some really good riding footage. Finally, enough from sitting here hearing me talk all the time. I know y'all don't probably get sick of my voice and hearing me ramble. So uh, anyway, check y'all later.